hello friends welcome back to my channel so in today's tutorial we are going to talk about kubernetes deployments and services so before i proceed into this topic i would request you to kindly subscribe to my channel like the video share and comment so in my previous tutorial you would have seen we have set up a mini cube instance in CentOS. So let me just recap how we did it. So first step was we have to set up our CentOS machine. So we have to disable SE Linux, disable swap. We had to make some changes in the firewall. Then we had to set up Docker. And so we have followed the step to install Docker on CentOS. And the next step was we need to install Oracle Virtual Box because we need a virtual client for Minikube to be set up. So the next step was to configure kubectl. So we have also done the kubectl configuration. And the final step was to do the contract and the mini cube installation. So once you do the installation of all these steps one by one, so it takes uh, quite some time depending upon downloading all these things, we have a mini cube set up uh, in our CentOS machine okay so this is the machine which we last time set up the mini cube so uh, if i go to mini cube status currently it is stopped so i don't have a kubelet running i don't have the api server running i don't have any uh, configurations running for mini cube so the first step is to start the mini cube so how did we did last time we did the mini cube start right and uh, we have given a parameter like driver now okay so we have to wait for the mini cube to be started it may take some time depending upon you know what all the configuration it has to do on the back end because we have not used this machine a lot so it's almost like a new configuration okay so if it's a running mini cube you, we could have directly uh, gone to the setup of uh, deployment and services okay so we are almost done okay so you can see done cube ctl is now configured to use mini cube right so it's successful so in our last tutorial if you would have seen we had faced some challenges with the ip table and i have showed you how to fix that message error as well right so let me clear out the screen okay now let me show you if, if i run the mini cube status it now it's showing running right so previously all these steps were stopped so now we have host running kubectl running so all those things are running so let's check the, the cluster info. So kubectl cluster info. Okay, I think there is a hyphen missing. So it should be cluster hyphen info. So now we can see the kube, Kubernetes master is running in this IP address, right? And we have kube DNS running. So all things are configured properly for mini kube. Now let's check uh, how many nodes are there and also also check if there are any existing deployment or services. Okay, so let me clear out the screen again. So let's run kubectl get nodes. So now if you see we have only one node. So this is a mini cube uh, setup, right? So we are not using a multi node setup. So you can see it's a master node. Okay? so it's only one node so now now let's check if there are any deployments running so kubectl get deployments so these are the commands which you are we are learning in this tutorial okay so to get the deployment list you have to give kubectl get deployments so now if you see it says no resources found in any default namespace so it's a default namespace okay now there are other namespace so if you give another parameter like kubectl get deployments and you give as all 
namespace sys. Now, if you see, we have uh, able to see some deployments here, right? So it's a cube system. This is for a dashboard. So these are some, uh, not a default one. So these are some system uh, deployments, which we don't have to worry. Okay, so let's clear out the screen. Now let's check if there are any services running. So kubectl get services. Okay. Now here we can see there is only one service, which is the Kubernetes service. Okay. So again, this is uh, we don't have to worry. Okay, because uh, it's a standard one. Now to get service, we can also use a different command. So it's uh, you can short like this kubectl get svc. So both give the same. So kubectl svc or kubectl get services. So both the command give the same output. Okay. So let's clear out the screen. Now let's check if there are uh, how many ports are there. So kubectl get ports. Now again here if you see there are no ports running. Right. So in the default names, namespace no ports are running. Because we are not created any deployment and also we have not uh, created any services okay so let's clear out the screen so let's start with the creation of first deployment so you you all may have some questions like what is a deployment and what is a service right so in kubernetes deployment is the one which allows the uh, things to run as a port so the, so the deployment allows or are responsible to keep all this uh, number of ports running in a Kubernetes cluster. But just because you have a deployment, you cannot access your application from outside of the Kubernetes cluster. Because the ports are running inside the cluster and it have a cluster IP. So you cannot access those uh, applications from outside uh, the cluster IP. So what you have to do is you have to expose those ports to outside a network. So that is where we use the services. So you expose the ports to an outside network. So simply to say the services enable this port uh, or the services enable a network access to these ports from outside. So that's the difference between the deployment and a service. Okay. So let's create a, a deployment first. So let me create cube ctl and the command will be create so when you use create it's going to create okay and that's going to be deployment and I'm going to give the name for this deployment so I'm going to call test mini cube okay okay and the next parameter is we need an image to create the deployment we need an image okay and I'm going to use a sample image, which usually you will have this in the mini cube documentation in the Kubernetes page. Okay, so let me run this. So the command is kubectl create deployment and the name of the deployment and the image. Okay, now we can see it has created a deployment. So now if you go to kubectl get deployments. We are able to see test mini cube so the name which we have given right okay so how you can get more information about this deployment so there is another command called kubectl describe deployments and the name of the deployment which is test hyphen mini cube now, if you see, if we have given this command like kubectl describe deployments test minikube, right? So, test minikube is the deployment name. Now, we are able to get the complete information like the name of the deployment is test minikube and the, the namespace is default. So, it's under the ne default namespace. Okay. And the label and the deployment the selectors, replicas. We, we have not mentioned any replicas. So, it's a single replica. We will see more about replicas in the upcoming tutorials okay and the image what we are using okay so it's it's as given a lot of information so this uh, is more like uh, we use docker inspect for docker containers right so it's similar kind we can use kubectl describe so let me clear out this screen so now we have a uh, deployment running so so get deployment we have one deployment running test mini cube 
Now how you will access this deployment from outside? As I told, the services allow the network access of these uh, ports from outside network. So what we need to do is we need to use kubectl expose. So we need to expose this uh, deployment to an outside network. Okay. So we are going to expose the deployment. And the name of the deployment is test mini cube okay so can we stop it here no we need to give the type and also the port it's going to be type equal to so we are going to use the node port okay? so the type is that we, we there are different kind of type like node port cluster ip here it's uh we are going to use node port and the port number is going to be 8080 so kubectl expose deployment and the deployment name and uh, type node port so if you see it has created a service so let's check kubectl get service now we can see there is a new service called test mini cube and it's the uh, type is node port and you know uh, we have a port 8080 232662 okay so this should be the port which we can access from outside but if you want to clearly check what is the url to access this service we have a different command so let's use this command mini cube service it's called test mini cube hyphen hyphen url so now we can see it's telling we can access this service using this URL so this is going to be your your host IP and the port is 32662 which is the this port okay so we are a uh, port forwarding 8080 to 32662 so let's try to access this from uh, the browser okay, let me copy this we'll go to a browser and let's run it If we go to the browser with the IP address and the port number, you can see we are able to access the web page here. So that's how you can expose the deployment to the external uh, network. You can also use the command kubectl describe services and the service name, which is going to be again test mini cube so again we can see the details like what is the name the namespace you know we have all different parameters like type it's a node port which we have set and the ip address the cluster ip the port 8080 target port and what is the node port 30594 right okay so that's how it's uh, the service and deployment works okay so now let's see again we have uh, kubectl get services so we have a test mini cube right now how we can delete this service use the command kubectl delete service test hyphen mini cube so we are deleting the service now if you run the get service we don't see that anymore how to delete the deployment you can use the same command kubectl delete deployment test mini cube so we have the deployment as well deleted now if you see kubectl get deployment we don't see any deployments also so we have deleted both the service and also the deployment right Now let's try to create an another deployment and uh, previous case we used the image from the kubernetes uh, training or documentation page right now let's try to use the image from the docker hub so let's uh, use again kubectl create deployment and the name i am going to give nginx and the image the image is going to begin nginx 
Now if you see we have the deployment created kubectl get deployments Okay, we have one nginx uh, running okay. Now how we can expose this because we cannot access this nginx now, right? So we need to expose this so kubectl expose deployment And the name of deployment is nginx It's going to be type Type equal to node port and the port equal to 80 because it's nginx run on the port 80 okay now if you go to kubectl get services we have one uh, service running for nginx as well now how to get the url to access this it should be minikube services nginx URL. Okay, it's not going to be services, it's going to be just service. Okay, so now this is the URL to access NGNX. So let's copy this. Let's go back to the browser. Let's uh, paste this one. Now, if you see, we can access the NGNX website uh, from that URL. So that's how we can uh, easily create uh, deployment and services and I hope uh, you are able to understand what is the difference between a deployment and service right because if you just create a deployment you cannot access your application from outside you need to expose the deployment and create a service then only you will be able to access the uh, application from outside the uh, network now before we close this session uh, we spoke about pod in the initial state right and at that time we didn't have any pod so if you just run kubectl get pod you can see one pod is running now it's good for the nginx so this pod only we are uh, you know exposing to the outside network so i hope uh, this tutorial is informative for you so we have gone through the step by step procedure how you can create uh, deployment how you can create service uh, by exposing the deployment how to delete a deployment how to delete a service how to describe you know you get use make use of describe to get a details on your deployment and also on service and how to find the URL to access your uh, service from outside uh, network so all those information we have gone through so I would uh, request you guys to subscribe to my channel like the video share and comment so we'll see you soon uh, in the next tutorial uh, with uh, another interesting stuff okay. so thank you for watching